What is up guys, it's Swift Nate here, and welcome back to another edition of the Nate Army. Now today, I'm bringing you guys another episode of Swarm With Every Gun, and it's a new series on my channel that I've been doing. This is my fifth episode now, and I hope you guys been, haven't been enjoying it. For those of you who don't know what this episode is, I mean not this episode, but this series, basically I try to get a swarm with every single gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and it's gonna be really hard, but I wanna do it for you guys because it's entertaining to watch. Now this game, I go ham. Um, I was camping in the back of the spawn, like for most of it, but I was just, like I just could not use this gun. Like this gun was so hard to use for me. I know everybody's like, what, this gun is easy to use. For some reason, like I was just not in the mood to play Call of Duty. Like I I don't know what happened. Like I was mad because I was using the um, MTAR, I was using the Type 25, like those guns, like I just, I don't know, those guns made me mad. I was, like I would be like one away from an orbital VSAT. And I just would die from some stupid ass crap and it just pisses the crap out of me, man. You don't, you, I wish I could record every time I rage. Like, I just yell at the top of my lungs. It's like, I'm surprised my neighbors don't tell me to shut up or something. I mean, it's so loud. <laughs> it like vibrates my table and everything, man. But um, two things I want to talk to you guys about in this video is how I get ready to do a commentary and the new YouTube layout that they might do, which I hope they don't because it's really stupid, okay? Now, how do I, Swiftnade, get ready for a YouTube commentary? Well, if it's like an early morning or late night commentary, and my voice, like, during those times, my voice is like groggy or froggish, I don't know if, I don't know if those are words, but basically my voice sounds like, like more like, er, like, I don't know if you, you guys probably know what I mean, like when you wake up in the morning, your voice isn't warmed up, it's just like all tired. But what I do to get rid of that is, this makes no sense at all, I eat something cold to warm up my voice. Like, I, I drink cold water, or if if I'm lucky, there's ice cream in the freezer. And I just go over there, open it, uh, open up the little container, and eat some ice cream. And for some reason, it warms up my voice. It just makes me want to talk. Like, I don't know why something cold warms up something in my body. That makes no sense at all, right? But, um, like, if you guys ever had to do a speech or something, or, like, if you guys ever tried to do a commentary, like, what did you guys do to warm up your voice, or was your voice already warmed up or something? But um, the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is the YouTube layout. Now, as many of you guys can probably agree with me, if they switch to the new layout, that is mentally retarded. I mean, they go from a, a pretty nice size page where you have like the sides to edit, the banner at the top if you're partnered, and some of the bottom. You have all that to edit, put in your pictures, put in whatever you think it's important, putting in whatever you think looks professional for people to see and be like, wow, this guy looks pretty clean, professional. He looks legit, I, I wanna subscribe. But now, in the new layout that they might do, they give you this little rectangle that is very, it's not really that big. It's like it's like the banner. It's like a banner of a regular YouTube channel, if you guys ever seen a banner. And basically, they give, they give that little tiny area for you to put all your things that you want people to see that you might think will look awesome for them to see and be like, well, you look professional, legit, like I just said earlier. Now, I think that is so retarded. Also, like, in the old layouts of YouTube, you could center the um, video player and anywhere like in the center of the screen, of your computer screen. Now they make it where it's like stuck at the top. That's so stupid. Like I, I think this is just my pet peeve, but when I watch a YouTube video, I want it to be in the center of the screen. Like I don't like looking to the top. I don't like looking to the side. I want to look straight in the center because I don't know. It just pisses me off. Like I have, I swear to God, I have OCD. Like it's not like confirmed by a doctor, but say if I'm doing Minecraft, not doing Minecraft, but playing Minecraft and I'm building a house. Everything has to be proportional and perfect. Like, I don't know, it just pisses me off when I don't do something. Or like, when I'm writing a paper at school, if I like mess up just a little bit, I'm gonna write on a little bit and I'm gonna tell myself, oh, that looks ugly, should I go back? And I just keep going back and forth and be like, oh, that looks ugly, then I erase it and write it again. It's so irritating. I think I have OCD, I'm not too sure. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about those two little issues, but if you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or anything to talk about. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Nate, subscribe to me, Swift Nate, to join the Nate Army and stay up to date with my latest and greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 2 videos. Well, anyways, guys, this has been Swift Nate, and I'll see you guys in my next awesome Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video. Goodbye. Calm down. He busted another one. Oh. <laughs> Get your fucking hands up.